Rivalries are born in the playoffs, and the Boston Bruins, after having one of the greatest regular seasons in NHL history last year, obviously cup favorites, were flat out embarrassed by the Florida Panthers, who knocked them out in the first round, a Panthers team that went on to the cup final. So, as we now get the highly anticipated rematch between these two clubs, you just know that memory is baked into the minds of the Bruins. They want revenge. And they showed that in an impressive 5-1 victory in Game 1. But that was just the appetizer. Tonight, we saw just how much these two teams hate each other. We got huge hits, 146 of them, with the blood to prove it. Montour mocking Marshawn's licking antics. Two superstars, after getting permission of course, going at it at center ice. 148 penalty minutes handed out, and of course, a little pettiness. It was old time hockey in South Florida, and I loved every bit of it. So, how about we get into it? It was right out of the gate, and these two were at each other's throats. And right out of the gate, Swayman was himself with a big stop. So, on the other end, shot, rebound, and Marshawn bouncing puck misses the open net, which seemingly pissed the little ball of hate off because he immediately laid a massive hit on Kachuk. A little rat on rat violence never hurt anyone, but I knew we were in for a good one. As even after the whistle, Marshawn was laying hits. Good hit. It's okay. <laughs> and then it's a turnover. Three on one. Zaka, Marshawn, back to Zaka for Coyle, and they score. It's tic-tac goal as Boston, again, first on the board with a dominating start. Swayman in his end was strong. We had Carlo ringing it off the bar. And then an odd man rush as Brazo stopped by Bobrovsky, but a great opening period from Boston. However, after what was a rocky first, Paul Maurice makes some line changes, and sure enough, they score. Montour from the blue line finds Lorenz all alone in front with a beautiful redirect top cheese and we had ourselves a tied up hockey game. And while Florida was pressuring, the Bruins were blocking shots like madmen. But in the end, Florida was just too much as Reinhardt shot, rebound, and they score again. The captain in front cleans it up and the Panthers took their first lead of the series. Now while Swayman was still all smiles at this point, it didn't last long. First though, this is where McAvoy getting hit into the boards was leaking pretty good as he had to go down the tunnel for repairs. But as we got down to the final seconds, a couple of big stops from Swayman locking down the bottom of the net to keep this a one goal game. But immediately off the face off, Lundell to Forsling fires it and he scores. It's an absolute rocket as he beats Swayman with a second remaining on the clock to make it a three to one hockey game. And already things were getting a little toasty going into the third and final period where right out of the gate again there was no relief Reinhardt to Barkov for Los to rein in and they score again not 90 seconds into the period it was now a three goal game and Montgomery had seen enough Yank Swayman for Allmark mostly just trying to light a spark as Swayman actually played pretty good but after the boys began throwing their bodies again it began to boil over midway through as it got chippy near the benches Frederick with some nice elbows for Rodriguez and Maroon during the commercial break with some special words for Cousins as these two were the first to get the boot. But getting a power play out of it all, it's Barkov. Give and go with Reinhardt and he scores. It was now five, the only power play goal of the game and Kachuk now had some special words for Coyle. You knew it was coming and sure enough, finally, what had been brewing came undone as we got all 10 of them going at it. But check this out. Kulikov and Brazo with a nice little dancey dance before Kulikov threw him to the ice. And after all was said and done, we had 10-minute misconducts for another four guys. Kachuk here, just right at home. <laughs> And despite Boston actually getting the power play out of it all, it was Florida again. Barkov to Montour, and they score again. Just pouring it on for the sixth straight unanswered, but look at Montour. Stares down Marshawn and then screams right in his face. And of course, all hell broke loose again. Everyone gets their man as we had yet another scrum. But this was the best part. Montour, you want it? You want it? Mr. Licks a lot. Hilarious <laughs> stuff as Montour with an all time troll job. But once again, as the dust settled, once again, there was four more 10 minute misconducts, five on each team at this point. However, Kachuk and Pasta still had words for each other. Even on the bench, still yapping as Pasta turns to Montgomery like, Can I? Kachuk wants to? You want to? 
Uh huh. <laughs> All right. And sure enough, soon as these two stepped on the ice, right off the bench, it's the two stars going at it. But as they went to the ice, it's Kachuk getting a few extra shots in. And don't mind the rat just flying into the frame. And yeah, emotions were high as it was now time for these two to hit the showers. Again, this is how rivalries are born. And while Watherspoon chopped at Lundell here to get the final penalty of the night, we really had almost no one left on the benches as the rest of this one was just a matter of letting time run out. But needless to say, I think it was a stressful night for Montgomery as this one finally did come to an end. Florida ultimately taking it 6-1 to one to square up the series. And as a neutral fan myself, I cannot wait for Game 3 in Boston. But yeah, that's about it for this one. Let me know your thoughts down below. As always, I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next one.